Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Beloved, you are welcome to this new month of March. Indeed, the Lord who has brought you into this month, the third month of the year, it will be gracious and will be good and kind unto you all the way. You are marching from glory to glory, from favor to favor, from power to power, and you are unstoppable as you advance as an army of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is Psalm for the day, reaching out to you from RCCG Central Parish, Abuja. And our Psalm for today is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 5. Psalm chapter 5, we're going to be reading from verse 11 to verse 12 and having our study in this scripture in the next two days. Psalm chapter 5 from verse 11, the Bible says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Because thou defendest them, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. With thou compass him as with a shield. That will be your testimony, the reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to consider verse 11 basically today. It says, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. So expressly I can say this to you on the authority of that scripture. That a test of your trust in the Lord is your expression of joy in the Lord. A test of your trust in the Lord is the expression of your, of your joy in the Lord. You do not see him with your physical eyes, but you can reach out to him in faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says, But without faith it's impossible to please him, for he that comes to God must believe that he is. And that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Like the story of the three Hebrew boys in Daniel, the book of Daniel chapter 4. The Bible says, they said to the king, O king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. The God who we serve, we know he is watching this scenario play out. We know he is listening to this conversation. And we know he's going to deliver us. And they said to him, even if he does not deliver us, we will not bow. And they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Hit it seven times. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter the hardship, the challenges of life that come against you. If God be for you, nothing can be against you. And your own assignment is to trust in the Lord by expressing your joy in the Lord. And that is a, a sort of expressing confidence in the Lord. These three Hebrew boys went into the fiery furnace. Meanwhile, the Lord himself was already waiting for them in the fiery furnace. And the rest is history, like they say. They were delivered and God was glorified in your life, in your situation. As you trust in the Lord all the way with the whole of your heart, you will come out victorious and God will take the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Why do you trust in the Lord? Trust in the person of the Lord because he is your keeper. In the midst of the storms, the fire, and the challenges of life. David says in that Psalm chapter 5, verse 11, where we read, he says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Why? Because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Why? Because you defend them. He's the defender of the defenseless. That is why you should trust in him and rejoice in that understanding. Look at what Psalm chapter, the book of Psalm chapter 133 or 33. Psalm chapter 33 3 verse 1. Psalm 33 3 verse 1. It says, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Psalm 35 verse 9 says, And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. In the fact that God is my savior, is my defender. When I am sleeping, he's awake. Because he does not sleep, he does not slumber. When I travel, he's at home. He's at the journey with me. 
He's already at my destination. So I am confident. My trust is in him. I will rejoice in him continually, consistently. Why? Because he is my defender. It doesn't matter how many adversaries come against you. Romans chapter 8 says, if God be for you, who can be against you? He is your defender. That is why you should put your trust in him and rejoice in him. John chapter 17 verse 12. John 17 12 says, while I was with them in the world, the Lord himself speaking here. It says, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. If you belong to him, then he has a responsibility over you to keep you. Hallelujah. And none of them is lost. You will not be lost. The enemy cannot snatch you away. But the son of prediction that the scripture might be fulfilled. The scripture that speaks about destruction, condemnation as an example for the unbelieving, as an example for the wicked will not be fulfilled in your life. Because you belong to him, you are on his side. He will defend you, defend his name in your life and you are kept in the name of Jesus. Amen. And joy, first one is trust in the, in, in the person of the Lord and then make your joy in what the Lord says. Rejoice in what the Lord says. When we look at that Psalm chapter 5, reading it again, it says, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, ever shout for joy. Because thou defendest them, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Let them ever shout for joy. So you are rejoicing in the Lord. And in what the Lord says, in what the Lord says, John chapter 17, verse 13 to 14, hear what, what Jesus says here. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. This is what Jesus is speaking to you. These things have I spoken unto you. John 16, 33. That in me you may have peace. In the world there will be tribulation. But be of good cheer. Shout for joy. Rejoice because I have overcome, overcome the world for you. The world cannot prevail over you. The world cannot conquer you. Verse 14 of John 17 says, I have given them thy word. Hallelujah. And the world that ate them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. So rejoice at the word Jesus has given to you. Anytime you find this word, you read it, you meditate on it, it becomes a weapon in your hands. When you declare it, it becomes an irresistible weapon. The enemies cannot confront, they cannot conquer. The word of God in your mouth is as powerful and the word of God as the word of God in God's mouth. It's a weapon, it's a Weapon of mass destruction in the camp of the enemy. And Jesus is saying, I have given you my word. The world may hate you, but with my word on your mouth, with my word in your heart, with you believing my word, you are indestructible. You cannot be conquered. I am your defense because of my word. So rejoice in this reality and continue to prevail. I pray for you, beloved of the Lord, that the power of God's word will give you victory in all the challenges of life in the name of Jesus. Encouraging you further, Psalm 119, verse 162 says, I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. Jeremiah 15, 16 says, Thy word were found, and I did eat, or eat them, and thy word was unto me. The joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. So agree with God to defend you, to fight your battles for you as you rejoice in his word. His word will never fail. The same yesterday, to be and forevermore. His word is as powerful. His word can never be conquered. And so you will never be conquered. So rejoice, trust in the Lord. And victory is yours all the way, even throughout this year and beyond. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. See you again tomorrow. Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Celebrate.